I have obviously thought a lot about if I would, if it came to that point, and I guess my answer would be that everyone has their price, <laughs> me included, and I don't know what that would be yet, but uh, yeah, I could. I want to confess the fact that since being in England for the past two months, I've signed myself up to a mail escorting service, and I've had one date with a client so far, which has gone rather well. That's my confession. Now, going by what I've seen other dudes charging online, they're charging up to like six, seven hundred pounds to stay the night kind of thing. And that would, one night like that would pretty much mean that I don't have to worry about money. Not that there would be too many worries. Like there was one guy who was trying to convince me to go over to Glasgow for a week to sleep with his sister because he hates his sister's husband, wanted to get rid of him, just wanted to destroy his life. And I was thinking, well, that's not a lot of money to begin with to destroy someone's life. So I had to make this person see some glorious other way of life that she could be living and then make her go through with it as well and then piss off. I couldn't do that. I'm definitely a cliche. I'm a cliche actor, struggling actor who's just turned to sex work in a way. I'm, I'm okay with that. I do not want my mum to find out about this ever. You know, no one's perfect. I, I don't worry too much about uh, the future of the planet because I suppose I put another degree of faith in technology and the exponential weight, rate at which it is growing at the moment um, and you know renewable energy sources and all that call me completely naive I probably am but I'm just putting some degree of faith in that I suppose as far as I'm doing up until that stage is just not having a kid and not putting another mouth to feed on the earth maybe it won't be a world worth bringing up another kid into in terms of our development so far we're still absolutely infantile and we think we've got everything figured out but we are just at the stage of starting to wake up to what what we really are as a as a species and what our responsibility is and what that what that means what life is really meant to be about yeah, i'm not so afraid of death but maybe dying before you feel like you've done achieved what you wanted to that's that's how i feel